Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Johnny Microbiologist, a medical research scientist. Uh, today guys, I'm actually traveling. Yeah, there's a research that is ongoing at uh, US Amri, that is a US Army Research Institute uh, under the Kenya Medical Research Institute. Uh, so uh, guys, there's this uh, whole issue about uh, kissing, you see. Actually, uh, in the human structure like the physiology and the anatomical uh, structure we have uh, something that called a uh, microbial community that is uh, these microorganisms there are microorganisms that uh, evolve as a community in medical terms we call it a microbiota or in other detailed terms we call it nomoflora so uh, this nomoflora uh, changes or vary, vary in terms of uh, uh, diet, age, we also have a variation in environment and other factors, uh, other many factors such as uh, lifestyle, even our uh, sexual activity also variates in the microbiota. And now we are going to go details into the kissing. Kissing is also a major factor in variation of the uh, microbial community. You see, uh, this microbial community uh, consists of what I would call a uh, good bacteria. You see, we focus more mainly on uh, bacteriology, bacteria. So uh, these ones, they prevent the pathogenic or uh, disease-causing uh, microorganisms from entry into the human. We call it human hosts. So guys, uh, I have so much respect and uh, great attribution to the NCBI. That is a National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI. I did a reference with uh, NCBI. So there was uh, this uh, research uh, that was uh, ongoing there. So uh, the research is uh, documented as uh, their partners, their willing partners who actually uh, were involved in the signing of the informed consent forms after much explanation of what the research entailed, also the risk factors that we do it in a research methodology. There were, these were willing participants have filled the uh, questionnaires and the ones who were actually selected were, were engaging uh, in this uh, kissing. They were actually living together as partners and there was uh, much uh, engagement with uh, kissing every now and then after job, in the morning, at night when the real deal was uh, going on behind the bedroom curtains. The partners, the two partners, so uh, the first kiss, the first experiment, the first kissing, that, that lasted actually for around uh, 10 seconds. That is a French kiss, passionate and uh, deep kissing. So uh, after that, uh, there was a swabbing. Uh, that is a collection of, of a sample. I told you that uh, the whole uh, oral orifice, it actually has its own microbiota, you see? So uh, the first uh, swabbing was done. That is the collection of the samples after kissing, yeah? And then, uh, the samples were cultured, they were grown uh, under, on, in different uh, entities under uh, the same conditions, that is a temperature, and the same uh, conditions were maintained but in different entities, you, you understand? That is uh, the male partner, the culture was uh, separate and the female uh, culture, uh, it was actually separate. Uh, the bacterial marker was used, that is a uh, bifidiobacteria. But uh, nowadays, if you want to conduct such a research, you use uh, lactobacilli. Like here in Kenya, most of uh, yogurt are uh, inoculated with uh, lactobacilli bulgaricus. Uh, that is a species of uh, lactobacilli. So this bacterial marker was used. So one of the uh, willing participants, either the male participant or the female pa participants who are actually partners, uh, one of them was uh, given uh, the the yogurt with the bacterial marker, bifidiobacteria, and then uh, that was the, the bacterial marker was used after 10 seconds, 10 seconds after kissing, the, that uh, the first experiment after kissing. So uh, they were also involved in the kissing, that is when one partner was actually uh, given the yogurt. So they were engaged with the same uh, passionate kissing with the same time, that is 10 seconds. So remember, the first uh, experiment, uh, the kissing was done 10 seconds, and then there was a gap between now, uh, administration of the bacterial marker, 10 seconds, and now 
they are kissing for 10 seconds yeah they were kissing for 10 seconds the same as the first uh, kissing that was done and then it was analyzed now they are doing the second analysis after introduction of the bacterial marker so a uh, kissing was done and then after these are uh, all aspect of uh, kissing and then samples the swabbing was also done as the, in the first case also the culturing was done in the same condition of, as i've ex explained in the first uh, uh quantification quantification was done even in the second one uh, also through uh microbial load uh, also we uh, drew also you can use a quantification uh, through uh, under the cell culture that is uh, that machine used to manually count the colonies you see actually it is one of the first uh, quantification but you can also uh, just jump right into the microbial load uh, quantification so after the microbial load uh, I, I suggest that they, they have not uh, actually specified which uh, quantification they use but I presume uh, it is a uh, microbial load because uh, the result was uh, that kissing of partners actually uh, transferred around uh, 80,000 million bacteria that is the bacterial uh, marker that was used by video bacteria into the female so uh the analysis was done and actually it shows that our partners who are actually dating for around uh, at least six months and they were they used to e engage in a uh, kissing with a high frequency like uh, every time every time they keep on kissing kissing and they're living together uh, so that uh, lead to uh, this uh, whole change of the microbial uh, community for example your wife or your partner or your girlfriend whoever it is uh, may actually have some dental caries that actually there are some uh, those cavities especially at night you see most people uh, don't uh, brush their teeth while they are sleeping so during that uh, uh, night olympics behind the bedroom come behind the bedroom uh, curtains uh, that uh, whole aspect you know it also involves uh, kissing so uh during uh, that whole aspect you see you are kissing and then actually you will sleep without a brushing so uh for dental cavities uh one bacteria is involved that is called a streptococcus uh mutants streptococcus mutants so that is actually uh, the main uh, bacteria that leads to those uh, cavities in the mouth so you see how the streptococcus mutants leads to these are uh, painful uh, actually the pain in the teeth uh you see there's that uh, those remaining foods uh, those are particles food particles they actually uh, digest them it's like uh, they digest them and then producing an acid that acid is the one that actually leads to the uh, dental caries so actually these are uh, the streptococcus mutants will also uh, get into your oral microbiota the same uh, is how the uh, bacterial markers were used uh, to show how uh, the microbial community uh, variates. <laughs>